Some football now, the protracted dispute between the cash-strapped Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, and embattled General Secretary Dalton Wint over his expected resignation and severance package could be settled within the coming week. Keon Rayner has the details in this TVJ Sports follow-up. The board members of the JFF are on Sunday set to receive and consider recommendations from a three-member committee which recently met and arrived at a possible settlement on the matter concerning Dalton Wynn's severance package. On June 7, a letter signed by JFF President Michael Ricketts was sent to Wind stating that the JFF would compensate him for his contract, which runs from January 1, 2020 to December 31, 2023, upon his resignation. That compensation package could have amounted to just under 10 million Jamaican dollars to Wind. However, TVJ sources indicate that the recommendation by the committee would see the JFF being less than that figure. The latest development comes close to a month after JFF boss Ricketts said via a press release that Wint had given his unequivocal and irreversible commitment to resign. It followed calls by the Cena Reggae Boys for Wint to resign ahead of the return leg CONCACAF Nations League clash against the Suriname at the office on June 7. Up to Friday evening, Wint was yet to tender his resignation for the post of General Secretary. The team had been stranded in Suriname after issues with flight arrangements and only returned to Jamaica after chairman of the PFJL Chris Williams loaned the JFF US $105,000 to secure a private charter from Suriname. Those funds have since been repaid by the Sports Development Foundation, SDF. However, the government agency has since suspended last month's subvention of Jamaican $3.5 million to the JFF, which amounts to half of the U.S. $50,000 owed by the JFF. Keon Reina reporting for TVJ Sports.